Okay, you guys, I'm going to keep going through some more things here in my notebook. Some papers I've been putting together. There's a kind of along with these other videos. This is like this past week or whatever. Um, been doing things. Been outside. I'll, I'll shoot an outside video later and show you some of the stuff and the flowers that's bloomed. Um... I just been kind of taking it easy, you guys. But I work. I do. I mean, I do stuff all day. I and in a sense, uh, I'm always trying to stay busy, I'm trying not to sit idle, and I always do a little bit of, uh, you know, God time one on one, and meditating and thinking about things. Just uh, what they call chewing the cud. I keep track of this stuff. Um, I think we'll start like at this the spiritual uh dimensions you guys they're merging the way like this is the twelfth round like I said but see it's thirteen coming in because it's the heaven earth dimension or whatever you want to say merger of all dimensions together okay and at the end see what is recycle. Again, cycle. What are you? Energy. See, your energy is recycled. Psych. The mental, the, the energy recycle cell. See, your DNA scrambled. Okay. See how this is? The three, the E's are threes. The Y is the cross. The C's is the light. The two circles. The three, the right and left reversed. Recycled. See, it goes a lot of different ways. I just, I'm not even going to get started on the Olympics. See, like I wrote God here. It's just like the, it's kind of like the egg there. It's like demon venom. The coma. Come out of the coma. Awake or your A sleep, your air, your rock. Do something different there, but like with sports, you guys, I got a little thing here. Bones. So how the baseball cover is too. That's what it looks like. And it's sewn together, it's stitched, and it's got it. It's threaded, but it's it's like a wooden ball in there, wrapped with threads. It's like a golf ball. It's a rubber ball or hard ball wrapped in rubber bands. And take it open. And look, you got it's a base ball, foot ball, tennis ball, basket, basket ball, soccer, soccer, foosball or ping pong, and there you know all all different kinds of them. B is 13, all, and LL is the box, the golden section, why, because if you go L, L, see that, 13, and you got the rear rock in there. Now, Christ opened the veil, like we know, the salvation is open, but time is ticking, the curtains are closing for this resurrection, you guys, like I talked about in the other video, just like he says, the door will, will be shut to the wedding, just like you hear about 11 is the hour of temptation in a Christ on earth, the 12th is the second advent, the, at 12, what is one? One o'clock, because see, there's that one day of teaching that's in symbolic of that hour. And then is the great white throne judgment. If you've heard Hickory Dickory Dock, Hick is the Hicksos. Because there's two white people on the eighth day, and one was Cain's seed, the other was God's seed. No, it was angelic altered DNA, is what it was. And then the other was God's. DNA, just like the tares you come we planted in the night. Okay. Now what is the 
great white throne judgment. It's judgment of your sins for everything that you've done. The second advent is the return of Christ. All the dimensions merging. See, this is an hour of teaching. See, the in the earth... All the elements are burnt down, not one stone left upon another, and the earth begins to rejuvenate. Because from this emerging of dimensions, it's fire and it's hot. Just like the earth is heating up, just like the sun. Because we don't have all our protection up on our shields. Now back to the hickory dickory dock. Hick is Hyksos. That's the village below where you'll see the Great Pyramids that they won't let you research and get into and they only let so much out. Ethnic people were created before the white race, but Christ still came through the white race. The Hebrew, the Eber. We have the bloodline of Cain because Satan crept in. And you have the bloodline of Adam and they're listed separate. That we're all children of God. But Satan planted tares. God said, I didn't do this. I, Satan came in the night and did this. And it's whomever will. Salvation is open to whomever will. And see, the people that didn't get a chance or whatever will be taught. Within an hour, but that's up to God. This right here, when Christ returns and the merging of the dimensions, like people like act like God's gonna fly around destroying people when He comes back. He ends them two wars. Things people we we pretty much destroyed ourselves. But when He comes in, we've got the battle in Jerusalem, the Ring of Fire. That's because it's circled round about. The merging of dimensions switches flesh over, pulls us all. To, to Jerusalem back that to the east that direction no matter where you are regardless of on earth the people that have accepted Christ meet him first just like it says see for that brief second these people know oh my god Satan the one I've been following is the true Christ and then here stuff shaking and Satan's running and these people are praying for someone to help them in the sense of, oh, Satan, I thought you was it. Oh, no. And they're deceived. And then they're so ashamed that they feel like hiding. They wish that rocks would fall on them, but they can't. That's why they pray for death. But it doesn't come. Because even when you lose your flesh, you go to a spiritual body. Because we know what, no matter who you are, when you die, you go to a spiritual body. You have to be judged at the great white throne judgment out here. For your soul to perish. So no one has been. Soul has perished yet. And Satan. And some of the fallen angels that were not named. But Satan. Number one for sure. Is the one sentenced to death. Now. We know Golgotha is where. Outside Jerusalem. The place of the cross is where he was crucified. And I'm going to say again that Jesus and Michael are two different people. Christ is the mercy seat. Christ was God. Michael is not God. Gabriel is not God. God came in the office of Christ for forgiveness of your sins. Michael is different from Jesus. Jesus is different from Michael. Not the same person. Now, after this teaching on the one o'clock, that great white throw judgment, after everyone's judged and hell's done away with, guess what? Christ goes back to his original office, and guess what that was? Is God. And all that energy that's left over, and it was built up in the overflow of him being Christ, burst the 14th dimension, which is in the sense a dimension as in another universe and this 12 round starts over again only it's new 
souls being put through the test just like we were. And they'll be started out in spirit and try to be taught just like we were. And the same story repeats on and on and on as more children, energy beings are being created. See? And if you don't make it, you get recycled. That's what hell is. It's ashes from within. It's the death of your soul. You don't die immediately. You have to be judged at the great white throne judgment that doesn't occur till after the change, the merger of dimensions. And after the teaching for the babies, everyone, whoever you want to put, that did not get a chance or was misled or deceived. The evil people that hate God, not a lot of them, there are some people that aren't going to make it. There are some people that aren't going to make it. The Bible tells you this, okay? That Christ, I read to you guys about the four, the Trumps, the vials, and then you've got the plagues of Egypt and all that stuff, okay? I tried to take the yoke off the best I could. Just like Christ said, you put on the yoke of Christ and it doesn't cut into your neck. It isn't that heavy of a burden. You can under, start to understand the wisdom. I tried to tell you about the dynasties, the horns, the political system. I've given you the dates. Told you about the wrath. And it's us coming out because it's boom, 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 boom. Turning cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes. Second Peter 2, 6. See? The judgment... You guys, like God knew what was going to happen because this system has been going on. And it's getting really bad and now people w are wanting to go away but and hoping Christ to come back when we have to go through this. There are souls that are not saved yet that will perish if they do not get Christ and accept him and people want to leave start thinking about other people and get out there and bust your butt because the number of people the more that are sealed in Christ that's more positive on the planet out there get go out and get through to people talk to people come out of your shell start feeling in the spirit pay attention to people around you when you're at the store going to your car going back and forth to work wherever you're at Start looking at the other people around you and start thinking and wondering where they're at, how their life is. Uh, you think they have Christ or they have a relationship with God. How could I get through to this person in my life? How could I do to show to help show them to understand what Christ did for me? And set an example and do things instead of trying to fly away. Help. Help. Okay, Christ returns instantly, fights both wars. He stops them. It ends it. And as those people see, you know how many people that were on their way over to fight, about to end it all in Jerusalem, and coming over to Jerusalem and Alaska, when they see this, just like that last moment right before death, and your life flashes before your eyes, and you say, wow, Jesus is true. So, how God gets people to come to Christ is in our business. So, it's not like God's running around shooting fireballs. This is an instant. You've got astrological things set. And people act like, I just, I don't know what else to say. No matter how you do it, there's someone that's going to yell about something. But I read what the Bible says. In these wars, and I've been over this, you guys. God said, Not one stone left upon another, just like the wailing wall, just like that little bit of blocks that are also still left of the temple. Those will remain there, watch. Because Christ will knock them down when he comes through that east gate. And that's the four winds. The crisscross, see, they're trying to control it. And the four winds bring about the destruction, the end of this earth age, you guys. Sitting here, and got a lot of different things that go on 
here and uh, with the you know the air ports and the ley lines here in Ohio, the two eyes to the four eyes, the O high, O. See the cat size, the clover. The gold, the God of old, the only God, the one God of Israel. The balance, 13, alliance, 13, all, ants. See, 13, and then you add the trinity. 13 is love, 14 is salvation, 15 is what, sinfulness of sins covered by the Holy Spirit, by the blood of Christ, 16 is love, 4 plus 1 is 5, grace, 5 plus 1 is 6, weakness of man covered, 16, 1 plus 6 is 7, spiritual completeness, that's why I use 16. The cat size what? The cat sees better in dark. A little bit better and darker than humans do. It sees it's a night creature just like the owl. And these are some other things I did like looking at stuff you know. Chi see Chicago is Chi Cog Incognit Cognit Cargo your Chi your Christ, your heir, your God in the world. It's just weird how when you look at words like Kentucky, like they say, Kentuck, Mexico. And then you could like 33XICO. And then it's however you look at it, whatever it tell a scope, pair a scope, my pro scope it's like the periscope's got the mirrors like you can look up and alive ants alive sight from the heights is be wise as serpents and peaceful as doves my crow scope just like the crow my crow wave my crow tells of the two the pair. And there goes the cat talking. The cross, the four winds, you guys, you have to lose flesh to get there. See, the north is the six, because N is the lightning bolt. And then you got south. Which is six out H or six out I E C see how you do this? And see what it tells you. The four winds. But all dimensions merge. Get their school. You break down school. But uh, I got a couple different ones for school. I got a different paper. It's like flesh to spirit. You change. So you sleep, you rest because you're in a spiritual mind. Your flesh thinking, you know what happened, but you're in a different thinking. It's hard to explain. Just like a seed must die to, to give birth, you guys. Just like our flesh must die to give birth to spirit. Don't want your flesh body. It dies. It gets sick. It gets old. I mean, we enjoy our lives here, but there is something new. There is something better. There's something eternal in the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, you got forgiveness of your sins. God will be there with you. Okay, with Him, you've got grace, new beginnings. You've got double spiritual completeness. Remember the double fruits, the first fruits. People that make the first resurrection. Because they made it through at this end of the era. 
this consummation of this earth age. I love you guys. Let God know you love him. And remember, repent often. That people will say, oh, you know, whatever. But the ones that know, no. You say, hey, I messed up. God, please forgive me of my sins. In Jesus' name, help guide me. You know, I, I know I screw up. I'm doing as best as I can. He already knows he's right there. But you ask God to be there with you and asking him to forgive you. That's part of your relationship that you just come to understanding when you develop it with God. Just like with a parent, you'd want to say, hey, I messed up. And you know, and get to, hey, that's okay, you know. I know, I've been right there with you, I know. I then forgave you a long time ago. But see, we ask forgiveness of sin so we don't have, we, we don't become vulnerable to attack by Satan's attacks. And he doesn't have it, he has less routes to get to us. Because we're cleansed from our sins in Jesus' blood. When we ask, when we are truly repentant, when we're trying to do better, because you're the temple, you're the kingdom, he's going to support you, he's going to lift you, he's going to guide you, he's going to lead you. Because he loves you. He is in you. You are a part of God. You're his child. And I love you guys. Till next time, bye.